This is the daily chart on Bloom Energy, and we can see price is gapping higher for today. But the chart suggests you use any surge in price as an opportunity sh to short. This is the weekly chart, and you can see that price is making lower highs and lower lows, and that this level that price is just under is a support now resistance band at roughly $12.50. Now before we continue with the analysis, let's look at this article. It is coming from Investor Place. So Bloom Energy, a leading provider of hydrogen fuel cell based platforms, reported its third quarter financial results uh, yesterday, highlighting a record revenue and widened losses. So that's why we're getting a jump in price today. Um, it is on mixed uh, results. Revenue hit $400 million in the third quarter, exceeding analyst expectations. This equates to a year-over-year -year growth of 37%. So again, um, that's why we're getting that bump. Yet the profit picture was less rosy. The loss per share in Q3 stood at 80 cents, a significant miss against the predicted loss per share of 4 cents. Bloom Energy had lost just 31 cents per share in the prior year. So uh, what do we see here? Again, adding to the mix report, but their costs are going up. Um, as they try to um, reach some level of economy of scales, right? So the CEO had to say the following. He lauded the potential of its energy servers, particularly for data centers, due to their quick deploy times and compatibility with Bloom's CHP solutions for data center cooling and carbon capture for sustainability. The CFO had to say the following record third quarter revenue in conjunction with expanding margins and progress in cost reduction position it to meet its 2023 goals. Now while the company is upbeat about its growth trajectory and innovation plans, the market's response has been less favorable again, prices in a downtrend. The year-to-date return for Bloom stands at negative 47%, far lower than the 15.6% return on the S&P index during the same period. All right, so again, the charts are suggesting to use any strength as an opportunity to short the price. Um, you can see how price came into this weekly seller's level at 1750 and then that was the origin of the next leg down, which took out the support level at 1250. Now, one thing I want to bring your attention to is as price breached and closed below this support now resistance band it did form a daily sellers level right at the 13 25 level so again uh, this 12 to say $14 is going to be a very difficult level for price to get through I just want to mark this on the charts. Daily sellers, 13.50. So again, the chart suggests go short. At the 12.50 level for the next leg down. Thanks for watching, subscribe. Please like the video.